Huh, Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Symbiote Stream. And so, as you guys probably have noticed, I'm starting to get through the Seek and Destroy show. I'm trying to end that show uh, from as far as my streaming goes and get rid of it since that was mostly an Xbox, you know, purely an Xbox streaming channel. So now we're going to do the Symbiote stream to kind of tie into the Venom vlog that I do and try to keep everything a little bit more concise over here. So that's what this is. This is me just making a special episode about playing Resident Evil 2 the demo at Comic-Con and visiting the Capcom booth. And that was pretty much one of the whole reasons I wanted to go down to San Diego is I wanted to see if I could get anything Venom related like a poster or whatever unfortunately I couldn't do that there was nothing really given out on Thursday so I couldn't get anything Venom related but I spent most of my energy at the Capcom booth I wanted to get there first which I did right away right when the con just first opened and I was able to meet Pete from Resident Evil 7 who plays Peter in the Sewer Gators I got to meet him I got to see some familiar faces from when I flew up to San Francisco to play the Lantern demo with Resident Evil 7 from Capcom so I got to see a couple faces I, I recognized or you know recognized and we talked and uh, and then I also got to play the demo and there was a cool like photo area out front with a police car and zombies walking around and like severed limbs and things and I took like you know one photo with Pete which is really great and then I also took a like a goofy photo of just me being weird and silly uh, and then just got some great shots of the booth itself which obviously looked like the Raccoon City Police Department which was really cool that they had that set up that was something they did at uh, E3 I believe and they kind of condensed it so there wasn't hallways you had to walk down you know they didn't have the kind of space they had at E3 so they just condensed it to the main hall so right when you open the doors to go into the RPD there's like Leon's desk area and that's where everyone sat down and played and I think they had about 12 stations or so like 10 to 12 and for playing it we actually also got these RPD shirts which I'll lift up and cover my face there uh, which are pretty cool and then they even have underneath like a little zombie face so if you lift up and show your stomach area uh, you'll get a zombie face you can put it over uh, but they gave these out for free if you got in line and played the demo and everything and I got to talk to Pete for a few minutes really nice guy you know told him about my love for you know obviously Resident Evil I never got to meet him in person so it was really cool to meet him and talk to him and uh, and just just had a great time. I mean, that, like I said, this is the whole reason I wanted to go down. And then as I was there, I was like, you know what? This will be great. The Symbiote stream won't just be, you know, streaming. It'll be kind of like what I was doing with Seek and Destroy. I'll do episodes every now and again if I get to go do something that's video game related or if I go to like a midnight launch or something or whatever. Like I'll definitely make little vlogs here as well that are video game related. So that way my two main shows will be the Seek and, you know, not the Seek and Destroy show, but my two main shows will be the Venom vlog and it'll be the Symbiote stream here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm just going to have footage going up you know showing what I did I couldn't take any footage of the game itself uh, they weren't really allowing that there was like a time limit on the game but I feel like my time went a little over uh, you know I was like wow that's weird because the guy next to me kind of finished before me and we sat down at the same exact time so I was like uh, that's that's weird am I uh, you know being allowed to play a little longer because I was like out there you know talking to everyone but I don't think so but you know I think it was just you know worked out that way I don't know but I know me and the guy sat down next to each other at the same time and we hit start like within 10 seconds of each other and uh and I noticed I played a few more minutes past him so if that was something that they did that was really nice of them I don't know if they had that power but either way I had a blast and there were some things in the demo itself that I was able to do purely because I watch Where's Barry's YouTube channel so if you're here and you know I know I have a small channel I don't have a lot of reach but if you are here and you haven't checked out Where's Barry and you're a Resident Evil fan please do. I'll put a link to his channel down below. He's been making a lot of fun Resident Evil videos. He started up before Resident Evil 7 came out and then he took some time off and now he's back for the Resident Evil 2 remake. And it's really great watching his videos again. He's a super funny dude, makes really like short and concise videos with a lot of humor in them, which I really like. And he made a video on how to solve the puzzle at Leon's desk. And I was like, oh man, that's so great that I watched that video because now I can like speed through this faster. Cause my goal wasn't to, you know, I didn't care so much about spoilers. I just knew I had a time limit and I wanted to get through as much of the demo as possible. So I went over to Leon's desk and I put in those, you know, codes because I was like, oh wait, how do I get the code? And I was like, oh yeah, Barry's video said you have to look at the nameplates on all the desks. And then I think the last nameplate was on the floor. So you just had to go get their initials and then put them in to the combination lock, which was cool. So I was like, hey, cool, I got that. I got the extra magazine clip for Leon's gun. And then I was able to go around and shoot a couple extra zombies before my time limit ran out. So I had a lot of fun there. It was a great time. Uh, meeting Pete was really great. Meeting the 
the people you know at Capcom talking to them was really great. And I, you know, obviously I was on a time crunch. I'm, I was only there for one day. Uh, not just work and finances was an issue, but also also health I have to consider. And so even though I'm you know off work the rest of this weekend uh, for the most part, why well, I'm off tomorrow at least on Sunday. I, you know, maybe could have gone down for one more day. I was like, you know what? Let's just chill. You got your one day in. Don't force anything. I did try to get an interview or like a clip for you guys, just like a, a snippet of you know, someone telling me a little bit about the game. But obviously, I'm a small channel, and you have to go through a lot of you know paperwork in a way to do stuff like that. And, uh, and I'm still learning, and I'm still trying to get into that. So uh, I know it's not easy for them. So I was not offended when they're like, "Hey, sorry, we would love to do something for you, but we can't right now. Uh, but we appreciate you being a fan." And it's like, "Hey, I totally understand. <laughs> you know, I totally get it." So it was nice of them to even take time at all just to hang out with me and uh, and show me around the booth and show me some cool stuff uh, that I can now bring to you guys. So here's some of that. And like I said, I couldn't really show any of the gameplay footage I did, but it's okay because you know I, I was actually killing most zombies with knives that's what I was doing I was uh that knife once I got it I was really quick I think I killed eight zombies just with the knife no bullets fired and I was just slicing them up I was like cut one's arm off one's leg off he fell to the ground I stabbed him in the head a few times uh, I was just going full on with the knife I was like you know what if I need to get good at anything it's how to use this knife because when this game comes out it's going to be like playing Resident Evil for the first time all over again because they're changing a lot of things and it'll be like when the remake of the first game came out it was like starting at you know, the start and having, it felt like having no experience at Resident Evil. And I was like, I need to get good at the knife because I'm probably going to run out of bullets a lot on this. So yes, they're, you know, I'm just excited. I'm excited for Resident Evil 2 being remade. It's coming out in January, so I got plenty of time, you know, to make some more videos on this with you guys, but I'm not going to cover it a lot because Where's Barry already does a great job and I'm not, you know, obviously I'm a Venom channel. I'm not trying to compete with other gaming channels. I just like doing the gaming stuff for fun and hopefully you guys dig it. But from time to time, I'll bring some gaming news to you and I will definitely bring some more Resident Evil news to you in a future episode coming up because they had a panel. They talked about the collector's edition of the game, what it comes with, all that stuff. So we'll do that in a separate video. But for this video, I just wanted to share my overall experience at the booth and talk about how much fun I had and show you just some clips of some of the Resident Evil things that I experienced while at the show for the one day that I was there. And I wasn't even there a full day. I was there for about five and a half to six hours and about almost two hours of it was just hanging out at Res Evil. So I had a lot of fun. So thank you Capcom for everything and thank you guys for watching my channel. Let me know what you think of all this down below and uh, we will definitely talk about more Res Evil stuff coming up. As I said, they had a panel and they released a lot of information on us. Uh, they showed a new picture of Claire. There's a lot of cool things like that. So we will discuss that in a future video. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future. Peace.